Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'll be sharing with you is how you can solve this lab with the reflected cross scripting vulnerability. So in this lab itself, the JavaScript string has the angle brackets HTML encoded. So let's take a look at the lab first. So basically what this lab is saying is that the search query tracking functionality has the angle brackets encoded. So what we want to do is to break out of this JavaScript string and cause the alert function. So let's do that. Let's do our usual uh, input, which is uh, this. And let's see whether it runs. So as you can see here, it rendered out as it is without any pop-up or whatsoever. So let's take a look at what is going on behind the scene. So let's do that alert. So as you can see here, the anchor bracket is rendered as, uh, I mean, it's being uh, HTML encoded. So that's why it doesn't, it's not able to execute the JavaScript function. So what we want to do is to try to break out this. But before that, what I want to show you is something like this. So if let's say we do a random arbitrary string and it will be something like this. So what we see here, it'll be something like this. So what we want to do is break out of this uh, string itself so that you the JavaScript will be executed as, as it is. So let me further illustrate what I'm trying to, to say. So as you can see here, right now, the input that we have uh, key in will be something like this. So what eventually what we want to do is to break out this and then execute the JavaScript code inside here. So how can we do that? Let's look at a tutorial that actually show us what are some examples, payloads that we can uh, key in. So some useful ways is uh, putting all this in. So let's take a look what exactly what happened if we use this, uh, this script. So essentially, when we key in the, this in the input field, what happened is that this will be empty, right? So, I mean, after that, it follows as a subtraction uh, sign. So you would take it as this is a, it's like a number. Right, but actually this star number is empty and this is also empty. So it, essentially what is happening here is that this is not number and this is actually undefined because it doesn't return anything. So define and then this also become a number. When we try to do this, it will eventually becomes not a number because this minus this equals to nothing and eventually you will return to something like this. So ultimately what we hope to achieve is that there's no, what you want to do is that we need to make sure and ensure there's no syntax error because if there's syntax error, this will not be uh, executed. So in order to achieve that, we need to make sure all the code looks okay, it makes sense to the system so that you will be uh, executed. So let's uh, take a look. Let's do that and see what will happen. Okay, let's do that. Click send. So returns are empty. You can see the pop-up alert. So is actually able to execute it. So if you take a look at the code here, is what, what you see, okay? So that's why you see the result here is actually not a number. That's one. So let's take a look at uh, what else can we do. We can also do this, okay? So let's replace this as this. So essentially what it is saying here is that with this semicolon is actually terminating this whole whole line. So this is as it is. Then this will be separated. 
and this will be executed. And this is to ensure that whatever that comes after that will be treated as a comment. So what we are actually seeing is something like this. So this, there we have the alert. And this is the comment. So this as it is, as it is. So this will be excluded by itself because there's no. So this one there's no syntax error. So eventually, the search term will return empty. So right now, let's take a look at uh, let's see if we can. What will happen if you use uh this string? So with that in mind, let's take a look at what will happen if we render this. So let's see. There is run so the pop-up still appears and let's take a look so as you can see here the search term is empty okay so i hope you have learned something uh today so if video is helpful i appreciate you give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.